各位委員，啊、我哋。Members, it is time to make a start. We have attained the quorum, and I will call the meeting to order. Item number one: confirmation of minutes of meeting. Minutes of the 29th meeting held on June the 30th. The minutes have been circulated to members before the meeting, and we have、uh, no comments on the minutes. Can I take、um, the minutes as read? All right, minutes taken as read. Item two: Matters arising. Report on meeting with the CS. The vice chairman and myself made the point to the CS that we hope that the new administration will strengthen communication and, com and interaction with members, and in accordance with the policy objectives, review the. Or and reprioritize the bills, the motions, and the funding proposals, and let the council know as soon as possible. When putting together the agenda, we hope that the CS would、um, discuss with、um, the council in order to identify the best way forward. I've also told the CS that members would welcome、um, the CE to appear for. Questioning、uh, more often, and the notification period、um, for questions should be shortened,、uh, so the members can put、um, questions on topical issues、uh, more easily and in a timely manner. And depending on the consultation, and also、um, the amendment to the rules of procedure and house rule,、uh, we hope that this can be implemented in the. Um, next uh, legislative um, session, uh, we've also said that、um, the administration should、uh, submit papers as soon as possible for for us to have more time、uh, to study them, and appropriate officials should be sent to attend、uh, the meetings. Vice Chair, I've also told the CS that when scrutinising the funding proposals, members have the obligation to put questions. And the administration should not regard the regard this as filibustering. The CS said that in the new term of administration, there will be a new style and, and a fresh start. It is、um, their priority to improve the ties between the two branches. The CE has、uh, instructed the bureau chiefs and the top secretaries to attend legislative meetings more often to improve communication. The government、uh, will. Review and reprioritize the bills, motion, and funding requests, and let the council know. Because of the backlog at, at the finance committee, the CS hopes that、um, members will、um, show cooperation and finish them、um, before the、uh, council goes into a recess. And he will be communicating with、uh, members of different、uh, political persuasions, and he will remind、um, the officials to submit papers as soon as possible. Three business arising from previous council meetings: A. Legal Service Division reports on bills referred to the House Committee in accordance with Rule Fifty Four Four. On the third of、um, July, the Director of Administration. Wrote to us about the、uh, anti-money laundering and counter-terrorist financing, financial institutions amendment bill 2017, and also companies amendment bill 2017. And the director expressed、um, the government's position. Members may wish to refer to paper 1803, stroke 1617, bracket 01. I call upon the legal adviser to brief us on. The two bills, and then members will decide whether we should have a bills committee,、uh, and then we'll consider the suggestions of the director of administration. Legal advisor, please, Madam Chair. The first one is、um, anti-money laundering and counter-terrorist financing, Financial Institutions Amendment Bill 2017, Paper LS88. The bill seeks to expand the principle. Legislation to apply the customer due diligence and record keeping 
uh, to not just um, the FIs but also solicitors, foreign lawyers, accountants, estate agents, and trust or company service providers. There is a licensing system uh, for the TCSPs. Any uh, TCSPs without a license uh, will commit an offence. The next one, the uh, Companies Amendment Bill 2017, for companies incorporated in Hong Kong, and there there should be a register kept of persons who have significant control over the companies, and there will be different uh, liabilities and requirements on these people. Now, the idea is uh, to enable the law enforcement agencies to uh, provide information on the beneficial owners. Should they go through uh, this, uh, we go into effect on the 1st of March um, 2018. On the 3rd of January, the FA panel was consulted and members raised uh, quite a number of questions. Uh, so members may wish to consider whether a bills committee should be formed. All right, on those two bills, um, bills committee, Mr. James Stone, Mr. Kenneth Leung, uh, so propose as regards the director of administration's proposal to have um, the bills committee scrutinizing both bills because um, they are similar in nature. Any comments, any contributions uh, regarding this suggestion? If not, then we have one single bills committee for the two bills. Mr. Leung and Mr. To uh, propose uh, the creation of a bills committee. Any member wishing to join? Mr. Olden Chow, there will be further circulations. Three, Indian Revenue Amendment Number Four, Bill 2017, Liquid Advisor LS 91, please. Madam Chair, the bill seeks to provide profits tax exemption to certain open-ended fund companies in Hong Kong, and the exemption will be extended to cover the privately offered OFCs, or these uh, onshore companies. If they want to enjoy the exemption, they have to fulfill certain requirements. On March 16, the panel on financial affairs was consulted. Members raised uh, quite a number of concerns. All right, let me put this to members. Do you see the need for a bills committee? Mr. Kenneth Long so propose. Any member wishing to join? Right, there will be further circulation. B. Legal Service Division report on subsidiary legislation gazetted on June the 30th and tabled on July 5th. Legal Advisor, please. Paper LS90, please. Madam Chair, there are four items there in the paper. The first three, LN135 through to LN137, are intended to implement the comprehensive agreements on avoidance of double taxation entered into with Latvia, Belarus and Pakistan, and the ta taxation right uh, is uh, delineated and tax exemption is also clearly spelled out. There is information on EOI. There are also provisions regarding the protection of the taxpayers' um, Data. This uh, comes into operation on November 24th. Mr. James Toe proposes an SC and a member wishing to join. There will be further circulation of invitation. Uh, the fourth item, legal advisor, please. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Chair. The next one is Industrial Training Clothing Industry Ordinance Amendment of Schedule 2, Order 2017. The Textile and Clothing Industry Board has been renamed um, as Fashion and Textile Training Board. And this uh, board uh, will be allowed to uh, continue making nomination uh, for the board. Uh, this um, 
has gone into effect on the 30th of June 2017. All right, the fourth item, SC. No. Just a reminder that for amendments, the deadline of notification is the second NETCO meeting for the next uh, legislative session. Further business for council meeting of July 12th. A tabling of papers. House Committee Report 27 stroke 1617 on subsidiary legislation and other instruments. There, there are six items. The amendment um, period will expire on July 12th. No members indicated any intention to speak. B. Bill first and second reading. Road Tunnels Government Amendment Bill 2017. We will um, deal with um, this bill um, at the first meeting of the next session. Water Works um, Amendment Regulation. Um, the government will move a motion there. Fifth. Reports of bills, committee and subcommittees. A. Report of the subcommittee on legislative amendments for imposing conditions on vessels navigating in the vicinity of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. Mr. Stephen Ho, Chairman of the uh, subcommittee. Madam Chair, to tie in with um, the commissioning of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, um, the administration proposes amendment to three pieces of subsidiary legislation. And the government impo proposes to impose restrictions on the height, length, navigational direction of vessels passing through the area, and also make adjustments to the boundaries of the airport AAAs. We held one meeting. Uh, we've also um, invited public um, to express their views. During the course of um, the deliberation, members expressed concerns over the anti collision measures and monitoring systems, as well as uh, navigation signs. In order to uh, facilitate better understanding and compliance, um, the SC urges the administration to improve uh, the consultation mechanism and arrange for briefing sessions for the shipping and fishery um, sectors. All the details are set out in the report. B. Proposed arrangements for extension of um, period of work of uh, subcommittee and policies. Is As of um, 2017, um, we have um, 12 uh, peers committees um, in the um, – there are five um, SC that is um, proposing an extension uh, of the period, and the recommendations are sent out in um, Appendix uh, 3 to 7. In order to make sure that um, the subcommittees are on the waiting list can be activated as soon as possible, and also in the light of the fact that um, there are manpower constraints uh, in the Secretariat. Members are um, urged to consider the proposal in Part 2. Basically, the arrangement is as follows. A, upon completion of the 12-month period, the Subcommittee on Policies is currently in operation, will vacate its slot for activation of the Subcommittee on the waiting list. If the Subcommittee considers it necessary, for it to work beyond the 12 month period, then upon obtaining the HC's endorsement, it will be put on the waiting list for reactivation. The B, pursuant to members' agreement at the House Committee on October 28th to give priority to the four subcommittees, i.e., um, the subcommittee on three runway system, the subcommittee on railways, the joint subcommittee to monitor the implementation of WKCD, and subcommittee on retirement protection. They will be given priority if um, these uh, four committees propose uh, that their work be extended. 
then um, by the time um, the uh, the time is up, but they will be allowed to continue with their work and see if members agree to the arrangements proposed in A and B above. Four slots will be available for the activation of work for the subcommittee on the waiting list. The Secretariat will review the available manpower against the demand closer to the time, and if appropriate, um, then the subcommittees can be activated as soon as practicable. Members, what do you think about the arrangement proposed in the paper? Mr. James Toe. We have ten subcommittees in action. Uh, third runway, the West Kowloon uh, Retirement Protection. We agree that uh, the uh, term should be extended. It seems to say that uh, instead of ten, we are going to have eight subcommittees. Can we uh, maintain ten subcommittees? Because uh, if there are ten, uh, then uh, our proposals uh, may be different. Because uh, many members have their own babies, they are concerned with uh, various subjects. So can uh, the Secretary General and the Secretary tell us whether it's uh, going to be ten or eight? Yes, I have actually talked to the Secretariat. Well, we are going to have two sub two fewer because we have gone to investigation committee. One on uh, Dr. Cheng Chong Tai, another one on uh, Mr. Houghton Chow. But I've heard met the, the member's suggestion. Uh, Secretary General, can we have more? Secretary General. Madam Chair, as we set out in the paper, uh, in principle, we'd like to have ten active uh, subcommittees. As regards the four one, the four subcommittees, which would uh, complete their work in uh, one a year's time, and then for the next four in on the list. To start its work, we need to uh, make preparations. But uh, we would like to have uh, four new ones taking the place of uh, the four old ones. Uh, we have six, 15 posts uh, created out of the 16. Uh, a lot would depend on the uh, progress of the investigation. Investigation committees. So the Secretariat will continue to support the work of ten subcommittees or committees. And uh, members will like uh, the uh, work to start as soon as possible uh, within the uh, uh, remit of uh, Secretariat uh, manpower, whether it's ten or eight. Uh, let's say uh, let's um, retain the four one, uh, third runway, the railway, and West Kowloon, and there are others uh, we would like to uh, retain. So it seems that we are uh, in a dilemma. We we want to have all of them. So we know we come up with this uh, proposal. I don't know whether this will work. I hope members will consider this uh, with an open mind. For the six ones which are to be wrapped up, can we draw lots? Let's say you you can accommodate eight. Oh, so we can keep two of the uh, six old ones, and then we can have two on the waiting list filling the vacant slots. If you can support ten, apart from the four which are to remain, we have six slots. For the six slots uh, which uh, will be uh, wrapped up, uh, we can uh, draw lots to to keep three, and then some uh, new uh, 
subcommittees can be formed so that uh, we can both have uh, the continuation of some old commit uh, subcommittees as well as uh, start the work on uh, new ones so we can have both new ones and old ones members have participated in various subcommittees so instead of uh, trying to decide which uh, sh should continue we will have uh, this uh, arrangement so that we can both have some new ones and uh, keep some old ones please uh, be reminded that uh, without the consent of the house committee uh, according to the uh, practice that we have agreed uh, the extension period is just for 3 months and after that uh, committees on the waiting list uh, subcommittees on the waiting list uh, would have will, will, will be established to take place the place of uh, the old ones very often uh, we would uh, give them another 3 months to wrap wrap up things before they are uh, disbanded but if we allow them another three months, uh, then it means uh, the waiting time for those on the waiting list uh, will will be extended by uh, three months as well. Well, we can uh, support uh, ten subcommittees, but we have already got one the select committee on uh, based on petition and secretariat's uh, staff. Uh, and support is limited. That's why we want to have this uh, balance arrangement so that we can uh, do what we want set out to do. Understand? For for the six existing subcommittees, can we arrange a uh, lot drawing so that some of them can uh, can. Have their terms extended, and then we can start uh, a few, say three, uh, start three new subcommittees. So, members, please uh, indicate your wish to speak if you have comments. Uh, Mr. Chen Hakan, I think pro establishment members. Uh, Well, in respect of the four existing ones, uh, West Kowloon Railway, um, Retirement Protection, and uh, Racial Ethnic Minorities, uh, we have no strong views about extending the term of these four subcommittees. But there are another six, and if uh, we do what uh, Mr. James Toad uh, proposes, and then we draw lots to keep three, then I would say DAB has some reservation because uh, many uh, subcommittees are on the waiting list and uh, they are supposed to uh, work for one year and if three the existing subcommittees can extend their term uh, by drawing laws it may not be fair to uh, other subcommittees on the waiting list and that's certainly not the usual practice of the council if uh, there is unfinished work, uh, you can join the queue again, and then you, 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 your term when other subcommittees on the waiting list uh, have completed their work. I think uh, this is our understanding, and uh, also the consensus in respect of secretariat support and how the subcommittees uh, work. If my understanding is not. Uh, is not incorrect. Uh, we'll have to stick to it in order to be fair to other subcommittees because members do have uh, different areas of concern. Mr. Yu Si Wing, uh, we are concerned about uh, four of these subcommittees and it's okay to extend their terms. If we then uh, arrange for uh, lot drawing, it will not be fair to other subcommittees. And I think everyone should uh, press on with uh, the work required within the one year period. Otherwise, uh, it gives us uh, not a very good uh, impression. If uh, the, there is unfinished work, uh, it's okay to join the queue again. 
Mr. Xu Ka Fai. Well, we have a, a subcommittee on uh, beauty uh, service and, uh, and uh, cosmetic uh, and medical appliances proposed by uh, Ms. San Jiang two years ago. And, uh, and we are still waiting. So we have to bear in mind that there are some urgent issues. And there are also uh, uh, matters which can never be uh, completed, and they, we can talk and talk forever and ever. I have reservations about Mr. James Toe. As a suggestion, I would like to have a subcommittee on Chinese medicine. It was uh, proposed by Mr. Chen Hangban in the last session, but there was no t a time slot. I believe we should give some uh, give the opportunity to these uh, on the waiting list. And now that uh, the government is going to build a, a, a Chinese medicine uh, hospital in Chiangguano, and uh, we should be given a chance to discuss the matter. Dr. Fernando Chiang, I'm chairing two of these subcommittee, one on the long-term care policy, and other on children's rights. With regard to the subcommittee on the children's rights, uh, the new uh, CE has promised to set up a children's council, and. We believe uh, it will be officially established in the coming months. And uh, there's another promise in respect of the uh, Commission on Poverty. And we are going to set up our own committee on uh, poverty. And actually, it, uh, it's, really, it, uh, it's a very good facilitator. So we have to bear in mind that there's going to be a, a new su uh, subcommittee on children's rights to tie in with the establishment of the Children's Council. So we would like them to would like to, to seek an extension. Do, what do you mean by extension? By three months or a year? Uh, we would like to extend the term. So that all together, it would last for the 18 months. We are going to seek an extension for more than three months, although it's still uh, limited in time. Well, the uh, subcommittee on uh, children's rights would like to extend its term to the 17th of May. So all together, it would uh, be in in action for 18 months. So we need to handle this. Uh, papers, proposals here. For this uh, session, members have been very eager to set up subcommittees to look into various matters. So far we have uh, 18. Some have started work, and uh, at the, some of those uh, were proposed before the start of the legislative session, and still they are not in, uh, yet uh, set up. And we are proposing that for four, they will be extended without the need to queue up again. Uh, last time, on the 28th of December 2016, we agreed that they would be a quarter priority. And uh, for those who are not uh, given such a priority, they will, they are not list, listed among among the list of four. So Dr. with regard to Dr. Jung's uh, su suggestion, what do members think? Do, do we want to give special treatment to to that subcommittee? Well, if you look at Annex 1, there are, w number 1 and number 5 uh, would like to seek uh, ext an extension. We know that uh, there are many members who have joined the subcommittee on ethnic uh, minorities. Let's extend this one to the 1st of November 2018, and the one on children's rights, uh, 17th of May. The other have not uh, asked for any extension, so they will queue up again, so just to respect uh, the, uh, the, 
the request made by the two subcommittees. Oh, what did you say? Mr. Ted Hui, Madam Chair, I declare that I haven't chaired any of these uh, meetings, nor did I make any proposals uh, for any to be created. But I'd like to make some comments um, on the sideline. And all these uh, subcommittees do serve um, meaningful purposes. In the last term, um, some members also said that they are also uh, very meaningful, and the ones um, that are set up this year are also very meaningful, although there are um, priorities um, to be accorded. If there is no queue, um, then members uh, would just keep um, proposing uh, subcommittees um, that will be put on the waiting list, uh, which can be very, very long. This is not desirable. Uh, this may not be fair. Of course, there are some that we have um, a consensus on. Uh, they can be extended. For those uh, that don't have any consensus, I think it is more fair to have um, lot drawing um, to discourage um, the, the lengthening queue, and that would be far better in terms of efficiency. I've got three members, including Mr. Paul Jay, uh, who are going to speak. Any other members? Press button, Ms. Claudia Mo. All right, just appear. I draw a line there. Mr. Paul Jay, Madam Chair, I must declare that I'm Chairman of the Subcommittee on Ethnic Minorities. Grateful to Mr. James Doe for mentioning this committee, and many NGOs would like to see this committee for another three months. Now for 12, A, B, and C, I don't think I can get to grips with these. Um, are we going to extend these to uh, the 1st of um, January 2018? Now for the SC on EM, after one year, it has to uh, stop functioning. If uh, members would like to see an extension, it will have to queue up again. 12 A, B, and C. I didn't specifically mention the SC on the ethnic minority, so I'd like to make sure that I've got um, I've got it right. Um, from what you said, I've got no comments, Mr. Howard Lau. Madam Chair, I'm Chairman of um, the WKCD and also Vice Chairman of um, the Railway Subcommittee. Now, I understand the members do have um, a lot of issues of concern to them if they include um, every single one of their areas of concern, then um, the, the list uh, will be um, inexhaustible. There are some on the waiting list, and some of them are pretty similar, like um, the subcommittee on the market um, and PRH um, parking, and there is also a subcommittee on market. I think some of them can be amalgamated. If uh, we can do so, then there will be one less um, on the queue. If we can do more in this um, area, then the list uh, will be um, never-ending. So for subcommittees that are similar in nature, we can um, combine them uh, into one so that we can uh, free up some space uh, for others. Mr. Long Kwa Hong, we have two camps, uh, pro-establishment camp uh, and the democratic camp. We hope that we can come to some sort of an agreement, failing agreement. Uh, we can um, always draw a lot, uh, which is fair the fairest. Third, I think we can seek uh, more resources to support these subcommittees. Now, nothing is cast in concrete. I think what, what we're lacking is just uh, funding. The government said that they want to improve um, ties with us. Is um, improving ties is not about um, drinking a cup of tea together. We need to have resources. Now, next time uh, you meet the CS, you may wish to tell him that uh, we don't have enough manpower 
to assist the members in setting up uh, subcommittees. Please uh, grant us more funding for this purpose. Second, if uh, you're so concerned about the public, please uh, do not uh, fly out of town. Um, please stay here for meetings. I find it all, all very surprising. Under the basic law, the LegCo is here to keep the government on its toes. We're working for the benefit of um, the members of the public. If you are fighting over the um, subcommittees, then it doesn't make sense. The next time you meet the CS, tell him that um, we can wait um, to have more resources. Uh, we can't work um, our staff too hard uh, here. Ms. Claudia Mo, I'd just uh, like to say something about the Subcommittee on Ethnic Minorities. As Paul Chair, Mr. Paul Chair said uh, from the paper, I'm not sure uh, whether it is acceptable or not acceptable. The Why do we need to have this uh, Subcommittee on EM? Because um, people were given the run around um, to to um, the transport bureau, education, um, healthcare, and people don't really have any focused um, service in the community. Uh, we get to see the problems that they encounter. These are gener generic problems that they encounter in their integration into the community. I even if this cannot be extended for one year, perhaps so we can have this extended uh, by three months till the end of the year. Thank you. Right, I heard what you have to say. Uh, paper uh, B, I don't think there is any objection. Uh, now we have uh, four subcommittees on policy that will be given the priority. If um, after one year they want an extension, they, they can um, go on without um, any interruption. That's B, 12B. A, um, there, were, there were diverse views. So we come back to A, but B, we're in agreement. We're in agreement, aren't we? All right, let's come back to 12 a, other than those uh, four subcommittees, the paper proposes that for the other six subcommittees, they will work for one year, and then they cease uh, operation. And if they want to have an extension, they will have to join the queue. Again, that's um, proposal number one. The second proposal is that uh, for the subcommittee on um, children's rights and subcommittee on ethnic minorities, there are members who are proposing that discretion should be given for them to be extended for three months or May the 17th. Okay, uh, for these two proposals, perhaps uh, we should have a uh, show of hands. Mr. Paul Jay, we asked for um, 1st of November 2018 that's uh, more than three months, and as members would like to curtail this to three months, I hope the members will support this idea of one year. Speaking not coming through. All right. I think we have to um, deal with it uh, in some way. Do you all understand 12A in the paper? Let's uh, put this to the vote. If uh, we have the majority support, then the six subcommittees will have um, to finish the work on after one year. And if um, they want an extension, they have to join the queue again. Are you with me? Mr. James Toe, 12A is uh, about the extension of the four subcommittees. Not B, it's about the four committees being extended. We are in agreement for B. No power five uh, a um, the five uh, committees now uh, will be the four committees will be given extension not twelve a all right twelve power twelve a and b b I just put this to members and I don't think uh, we are at odds uh, so uh, we have to come back to twelve a so uh, let's um, put um, twelve a to the vote if uh, we get the majority support, then we proceed um, according to the paper. 
will um, keep an eye on the operation and will discuss with members um, the arrangement. Mr. Long Kuo Hong's proposal, we are liaising with the Secretariat, and at the next stage, um, we will seek more resources. Please rest assured, until we have um, the new resources, we will have um, to decide how we proceed uh, given the existing resources. Mr. James Stone. Now, uh, let me suggest this um, 12A. Um, the, the other six uh, will uh, cease operation. So, uh, can we now for uh, subcommittee on EM uh, till 1st of November 2018, uh, children's right uh, till 17th of May 2018. So, I'm modifying 12A subject to members' agreement. So, other than Subcommittee on EM and Subcommittee on Children's Right. They will be extended to um, 1st of November and 17th of May 2018. The others will cease operation after one year. That's um, from members' consi uh, consideration. Do you agree with this? All right, let me recap. Uh, I think we could have um, followed a 12A uh, for, sim uh, for simplicity's sake, but Mr. Toe is saying that since two subcommittees are making special requests, uh, then uh, we should allow the two subcommittees to be extended to the proposed uh, dates. Please refer to Appendix 1 uh, for EM uh, till 1st of uh, November 2018 for children's right uh, till the 17th of May 2018. 18. Mr. Toe is suggesting that uh, we um, vote on this uh, proposal first, and then for the uh, subcommittees on the waiting list, um, they will be activated. All right. Any objection to Mr. Toe's proposal? Any objection? All right, then let's put it to the vote. Five minutes, please. Uh, Mr. Yu Siwing, my view is 12A is in the paper. I think we have to vote according to 12A. If this doesn't go through, then we should uh, take up with Mr. Toh's suggestion. Otherwise, we'll have uh, more and more suggestions um, that we'll be voting on and that will be added in for the night. Um, some suggested uh, lot drawing. I think we have to stick with 12A as it is uh, spelled out in the paper. Otherwise, it'll be very confusing. All right, 12A is um, clearly spelled out in the paper, I'm sure the members um, have got to grips with um, this paragraph. Uh, let's put 12A to the vote. If uh, we get majority support, uh, then uh, we, we stick with uh, 12A. If this is voted down, uh, then we'll decide how we proceed. Is that all right? Mr. Portier, Madam Chair, I think uh, if uh, we can vote um, on the paper as amended, it would be easier. Otherwise, uh, if you vote down the the uh, paper, the paragraph, it would be very confusing. Ms. Alice Mack. Madam Chair, go along with uh, Mr. Portier. I think we have to um, vote on the amendment first. Let's say um, if we like to see the SC on EM extended, then certainly we would not vote for 12A. Now, if you vote down on 12A, what's going to happen next? Or what's going to happen if uh, Mr. James Toll's proposal is voted down also? Ms. Tanya Chan. Madam Chair, I think we have to um, start with an amendment first, and this is consistent with uh, what we do at the Council meeting. What I am concerned about is whether we need to uh, separate out the SC on EM and also SC on children's right. Uh, before we move on to the original proposal, if you lump them together, it would give rise to some complexity. Mr. Dong Kuo Hong, the amendment is um, the Che To uh, motion. We should um, vote on this first. I think we have to get on with um, the voting first. Now, even the Student Council would vote on the amendment first. Mr. Uh, Ms. Cordial. Well, if we 
just consider uh, whether it would not be passed. Uh, it's, there's another choice. We can extend it uh, the term by uh, three months. We should have a choice one, two, and three. Okay, let's get on with it. Uh, the extension for the subcommittee on ethnic minority will be uh, to the first of November. So we would uh, take that into to the vote. And uh, for the children's right, 17th of May. So we need to have uh, separate votings. Yes, some members would like to have separate votings. First, let's on uh, let's vote on the uh, subcommittees uh, on uh, ethnic minorities uh, proposal to extend the f period of work to the first of November. So let's say uh, let's put this to a vote, and then we vote on the proposal for the uh, subcommittee on children's rights, and then we re return to twelve A. Do we have anyone who want to wants to came to division? Sound the sound the bell, please. Not not a division. Members, just a reminder, the first question to be voted on is the uh, extension of the uh, period of work for the uh, subcommittee on uh, rights of ethnic minorities be extended to the 1st of November. And then uh, there's no need to sound the bell again for the other matter to be voted on.
，現在進。Let's、uh, proceed to vote. Please press the white button to register your attendance before you vote. Before I declare the result, please check your votes.、Uh, the, do any members、uh, who need more time? If there's no question, voting is closed, and、I、ask the clerk to display the result. Thirty-six for, twenty-seven against. No abstention. So、uh, the subcommittee on rights of ethnic minority is now approved to extend its period of work to the first of November, 2018. And next,、uh, we'll vote on the proposed、uh, extension of period of work of the subcommittee on children's right to seven, the 17th of May of、uh, 2018. Please、uh, press the red button to register your attendance before you vote. Please verify your votes, members. If、uh, there is no question, does anyone, does any member require more time to vote? If not,、uh, voting is now closed, and、uh, the, the card will now display the result. Thirty-one for twenty-nine against. No abstention. So,、uh, order, please. <laughs> Mr. Abraham Shack, you voted against. Please,、uh, I'll ask the clerk to check if uh, the. Uh, Record shows that、uh, Mr. Shack has voted against the、uh, proposal. I haven't really announced the result. I'll ask the clerk to check the record. My my, Sir Yu, hey, Mr. Sir Yu, you are not voting. Maybe did did you vote? I ask the clerk to check the record. Maybe did did you vote? I I I pressed the、uh, against the button, but I couldn't do it.、Uh, Doctor Helena Wong, if、uh, after the vote is closed and the result is already put on the screen, we can all see it, and then you try to change uh, the uh, out result,、uh, it's not really okay because、uh, in in the future, if the difference is just one vote,、uh, then may, some members may.、Uh, Then change his mind. Well, according to our practice, before the chairman、uh, announces the result of the、uh, votes, and、uh, if there's any discrepancy as、uh, suggested by a member, then we'll put uh, the uh, matter on the record. According to the、uh, screen, the that the that particular member did not.、Uh, Vote, and he、uh, has just said that he would have、uh, liked to vote against the proposal. Well,、uh, the New People Party members, two of us,、uh, would like to support, although we didn't have time to press the the yes button. 爱情问题，我我只系想查询，主席啊。A point, a point of order, Madam Chair. I have a question about our rules. Can a, a member、uh, declare after the、uh, result has been、uh, displayed that、uh, he would like to、uh, he would like to vote in another way, or he did not vote?、Um, uh, some members said they didn't have time to vote. If you allow the the、uh, votes to to be validated, that may affect the result. But,、well, Madam Chair, although you have not announced the、uh, result, but it is already displayed, and some members may then want to change his or her mind. If you allow this,、uh, then、uh, that 
that would be a problem. We cannot say that uh, since this time the uh, ultimate result will not be affected. We, uh, we would uh, uh, allow it because that would create a bad precedent. Uh, you are just saying that it will be put on record. You are not saying that uh, that particular vote will be counted. Uh, in the past, uh, th we we did have uh, some uh, instances whereby the member said uh, he or she had cast a, a vote in the in a, the wrong vote, and uh, that then uh, the clarification was put on record. Madam Chair, uh, uh, please. Uh, Mr. Lau Kok Fan's uh, remarks are simply not true. The, uh, Madam Chair said that she had not uh, declared the result, meaning that this uh, result uh, was not considered the final result. So I have a question for the legal advisor. What 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 should we do according to our uh, house rules? I'll ask the uh, clerk to say something. Uh, Mr. Sheikh Lai, uh, Abraham Sheikh said, according to Rule, rule 49, Bracket 3, if uh, there's uh, something wrong in the uh, vote, in the vote cast, uh, or in the counting of votes, uh, he can request a revision, but uh, that must be done before the chairman has announced the result. Uh, and I mean, it's not. It's before the announcement by the chair instead of uh, before the uh, result is displayed. As regards uh, uh, Mrs. Regina Yip and Miss uh, Young's uh, point uh, that they did not have time to vote, or oh, I, I, I want to say that uh, the chairperson did remind members to vote uh, according to Mr. Abraham Shack. He wanted to vote, but uh, he pressed the button, and, but that it was not uh, the responsive. So, according to our rules of procedure, he should be given the chance to vote again uh, before the result is announced. I was in front of uh, Mr. Shang. I heard him say that I couldn't press uh, the button. To register my vote, it can't be done. It can't be done. But uh, Mrs. Regina Yip was a uh, far, farther away, so I didn't know what happened. Mr. Leung Ko Hong, uh, there's no need to be alarmed. We have just that we have a long agenda. When the rules of procedure were formulated, uh, we didn't have this uh, this display panel. Well, it would be very messy if uh, then th after seeing the display result, uh, the people would like to change their mind. Then uh, what about ten members want want to do it? Uh, yes, according to the rules of procedure, yes, people can change their mind, but it's before the announcement of the result. The, the result has been displayed, but you just have to declare it. This is a new technology. So it, after it's done, uh, there's no going back. Yeah, Lung. Mr. Lin Yuchong, I agree with uh, Mr. Lin Guo Hong that we have already had the result displayed. It's just you haven't read it out. Previously, the chairman would just uh, hear the the. The, the voice um, without the technology. I agree with uh, Mr. Long Kuo Hong. I think uh, Mr. Abraham Shek should have told the chair that he couldn't vote and he, he would have been given time because the chair asked uh, whether there were any problems. He didn't try to assert himself. He was late and it was his own problem. All right, we have. Um, Spend enough time on this. Um, any further points, uh, Professor Joseph Lee, Madam Chair? I've uh, raised my hand. I'm not looking at the result. I'm I'm looking at the proceedings. 
Now, after five minutes,、um, the chairman、uh, said that there will be no sounding of the bell. I heard、uh, what the chair said. The,、uh, do members、uh, need further time? And then、um, she said, "I'll display the result." First,、um, the bell didn't ring. Second, the chair did ask members whether they would want、uh, more time. I'm not trying to pinpoint any particular member. Now, this is an honor system here in this chamber. You can say that、uh, you can press the button. Fine,、uh, this can be duly recorded. But, Madam Chair, the sitting over there, what you say、uh, would have a binding effect. If、um, the chairman uh, has um, asked you, and for 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 some reason you couldn't press the button, then、um, you raised your hand and and said you couldn't、uh, press the button. Uh, then, then, the, there will be a problem with、um, the 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 chair. But the chair has already、uh, asked you, and you didn't say anything. Then that's your problem. Here in this chamber, what we say, what we say counts. All right. I think I have to、uh, take a decision, Mr. Wong Kwok Kin. I never spoke,、um, Madam Chair. Indeed, we do have the rules of procedure. There are some members who do not follow the rules of procedure, or they are trying to interpret、uh, the rules of procedure, like、uh, Mr. Lang Guo Hong. Now there are errors、uh, from time to time.、Um, they can appear、uh, with in the、um, voting system, so that's why the chair has to announce、um, the results, and this is、uh, making up for the inadequacy of the electronic system.、Uh, the chair can. Uh, rectify the、um, electronic system. I don't think we can or、uh, we should flout、um, the rules of procedure and get in get bogged down in a debate here, Mr. Shukafai. Mr. Abraham Shaikh made it very clear that, um, um, or、oh, Mr. Tommy Jones said that Mr. Abraham Shaikh、uh, said that he couldn't press the button for the non-establishment members. Now、uh, let's say. Um, if、uh, we're voting on the constitutional reform and and someone couldn't press the button,、um, then then the the whole thing、uh, got got passed. And what's going to happen? I mean, th this can happen to you as well, Mr. Abraham Shaikh. I just like to state the facts. When you were speaking, I said I couldn't press the button, and then、um, you you said what you did. I told you that I couldn't press the button. As simple as that. From the record, I didn't press the button because I couldn't. Mr. Chen Kimpo, Madam Chair, the House Committee and the Finance Committee follows、um, this、uh, rules of procedure. I think、uh, we have to、um, uh, look at this、um, as it is.、Uh, if there are problems,、um, members can ask for some changes before the chairman made the announcement. Madam Chair, if you do, do not follow this,、um, then、um, the finance committee will also be affected.、Um, Vice Chairman, in this case,、um, the rules of procedure doesn't apply uh, because um, this is about um, a, a voting in error, or the vote has been counted wrongly. That the, the overriding consideration is that、uh, you have already already voted. If you couldn't press the button before the、um, chairman. Announce the results. You should have raised a hand. Chair didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. So the correct procedure is that if you couldn't vote, you should have raised a hand. If the rules of procedure, the, the、uh, provision in the ROP is about、um, voting in error or the the、um, wrong counting of the votes. Okay, then I heard、uh, what you have to say in accordance with the ROP, Mr. James. Do you have、um, made your point? Make it quick, please. Very simply. As Mr. Chengkin Paul said, 
um, there will be no con effects. I hope that you are not wrong. I'm not sure whether you got a chance to talk with um, the legal advisor. The vice chairman um, advanced uh, some legal fine points. You might wish to spend um, 15 minutes or some time discussing with the legal advisor. Legal advisor. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair. Uh, 49.3 of um, the ROP. This is about um, the uh, voting in error or uh, voting uh, miscounted. Now, I'd like to add that in bracket 3, uh, the member can uh, ask for correction. And after the request has been made, uh, it would be for the chair to um, decide uh, whether this would be entertained. I think the chairman can have regard to the procedures of um, voting and whether the uh, voting procedures uh, are considered valid or not. Dr. Fernando Zhang, I've never spoken on this, Madam Chair. There is one point I'd like to make. What happened just now? I am concerned if we allow this to happen, then some members would be able to look at the result first um, before indicating their intention to vote. If we do not uh, stamp out these kind of um, tricks, then we're storing up uh, trouble for the future. Madam Chair, I agree, I agree with uh, Mr. James Stowe that we can go back um, on the video record before taking a decision. Mr. Michael Tien, I'd like to clarify with the legal advisor. It, it's, is she saying that uh, we can look at the panel and until the chairman says anything, anybody can change their position? Uh, the overriding condition is uh, whether the chairman would accept this. Is that what you said? Is uh, my understanding correct? I'm looking at the rules of procedure. Here there are a couple of things. Here the first one is uh, the member has to indicate that um, he voted in error or the votes uh, were counted uh, wrong and then here it says that uh, the member can request uh, that uh, this be rectified. So until the chairman says anything, someone can look at the panel and ask for rectification. This is in the rules of procedure before, yes, before the chairman announced um, the result of the voting. So under the rules of procedure, if there are problems, uh, we can amend the rules of procedure. But as it is, uh, somebody can just look at the panel and ask for rectification. Well, we are very concerned about this, since um, this is something of concern to members, and this um, additional vote uh, will not make any difference to the result. And I would accept um, members' um, suggestions. Now we will deal with um, the the um, extra vote. Uh, we're going to have more time when we um, deal with uh, Mr. Wooden Chow's uh, item. So um, I declare that um, with the members' agreement, um, this uh, subcommittee on children's rights will be extended to the 17th of May 2018. Mr. Raymond Chen, 30 seconds. I've got an alternative uh, view. If Mr. Abraham Shaikh said that he tried to express uh, his view and the chairman didn't see him. Now, you didn't do it on purpose, but in future, if the chairman didn't see it in purpose and then announced the result, would this uh, be a recipe for controversy? I think we have to move on with times. When we um, drafted, when the ROP was drafted, we didn't have the uh, display panel, so the uh, crop uh, will have to work hard on this. All right, let's deal with um, the last item of this. For the other subcommittees, they have to complete um, the work within a year after it's uh, become up and running. 
um, unless uh, with the um, agreement uh, there will be no extension. Okay, uh, shall we proceed accordingly? All right, we have uh, got this out of the way. Let's move on to the next item. Just um, a reminder that other than um, the two subcommittees that we voted on, the other three uh, their proposed extension will be subject to the arrangement that we have uh, already agreed on. Next, item six. Position of um, subcommittees as of um, July 6, there are 12 uh, bills committees. One bills committee uh, has to carry on. Um, more, uh, three months after it's completed, there are 13 uh, subcommittees under the House and five uh, subcommittees to do with policy under panels. On the waiting list, there are eight um, awaiting activation. Item seven. Election of members for appointment to the investigation committee established under Rule 49 B2A of the Rules of Procedure in respect of the motion to censure Mr. Holden Chow. Under 73A, uh, we need to have um, se uh, seven members, including Chairman, Vice Chairman, and five other members. And they, uh, on the 23rd of June, at the House Committee, members agreed that. Um, in accordance with Paper CB one 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 seven six stroke sixteen to seventeen, Appendix two, uh, we will proceed with um, the election in accordance with the electoral procedures uh, for members to be so appointed. According to um, Paper CB one twelve fifty five uh, stroke sixteen to seventeen, as of July third, um, that's the end of um, the nomination period. The Secretariat has received nine vetted nominations. They are all displayed on the panel. Does any member wish to change anything? Mr. Charles Mock, um, I'd like to say that uh, I am going to withdraw from the uh, nomination list. All right, Mr. Charles Mock, I would like to withdraw from this subcommittee, so his name will be struck off the list. Anybody else? If not, uh, since uh, there are more than seven members uh, being nominated, members are supposed to vote um, using the electronic voting system. When we have elected seven members, the House Committee uh, will adjourn the meeting so that the chairman and vice chairman can be elected from among the seven members. And then uh, we'll resume and ask uh, members to endorse the result of um, the election of chairman and vice chairman. Let's proceed to vote. Will members please um, select um, the nominees that you prefer, and you'll be selecting no more than seven members. Please note that the members that uh, you've picked uh, will turn green, and there is also a tick uh, against the names. Please uh, proceed to vote now. Mr. Chen Chi Chen, so the, it's a division, and uh, the names of members will be recorded. Yes. Yeah, this has been uh, in in not in use for a for some time. Okay, let's proceed to vote. Wow. If uh, no member wishes to have more time. Please raise your hands. Mr. Elvin Young will need more time. All right, you haven't voted. You can select f uh, fewer than seven. The most you can vote is from seven members. You can choose seven members at most. Please proceed to vote. Does any member need more time? 
Ms. Claudia Mo, please proceed to vote. Does any member wish to need wish uh, to have more time? Mr. Chen Ha Ken. Does any member wish to have more time to vote? Hands up, please. Are on the count to three. Once again, does any member need more time to vote? Uh, Ms. Chang, please uh, proceed to vote as soon as possible. We are now voting. Who hasn't voted? On the count of three, the voting will be closed. Does any member need more time to uh, talk with someone else or to vote? Hands up, please. On the count of three, the voting will be closed. One, two, three. If there's no question, voting is closed. I'll ask the clerk to give us the vote count and the votes given to all candidates. James Stowe, 44, Abraham Shah, 31, Wong Ting Kong, 31, Dennis Kuo, 30, Martin Liu, 31, Jimmy Ng, 31, Luke Chung Hong, 31, Yu Chong Yin, 45. Uh, the, the seven members who have got the highest number of votes are, are, are elected. They are James To, Abraham Shek, Wong Ting Kuo, Martin Liu, Jimmy Ng, Luke Chung Hong, and uh, Dr. Yu Chung Yim. I now suspend the meeting so that the uh, elected members can uh, elect among themselves the chairman and deputy chairman of the investigation committee. We will resume at 3.59 and then members will be invited to endorse the voting results uh, for the chairman and deputy chairman of uh, the investigation committee. Would uh, the seven members please uh, go, go to uh, room 4 for the elections and we will resume at 359.